Welcome to today's session on external identity on Power Pages. Yes, you might be wondering what external identity is. We'll be covering that as well and how you can add authentication um, on your Power Pages. And I am Jolene Kirui. I'm a senior cloud security advocate at Microsoft. And with me is Abbas. Abbas, you can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Abbas, uh, senior product manager for external ID. Uh, and the developer experiences. Perfect. So let's just have a overall, overall view of uh, what we're going to cover today. So today we're talking about Entra External ID, which is actually a product under the Microsoft Entra product family. So you can see there's a lot of products that are under Entra. But for this particular one that we are covering today, it's only covering um, customers and partners. So this is not for your internal workforce, it's for anyone who's outside your workforce. So it can be your customers, your partners, customers, like anyone that's outside your, your existing workforce. So let me just touch a bit on um, external ID so you can understand um, what we mean by external ID. So external ID actually is a set of features that actually enable organizations to securely manage and engage with external users. So as a developer, you can easily integrate authentication and customer identity and access management into your customer applications. So for instance, if you're developing an e-commerce site and need to authenticate your customers, external ID actually eliminates the need to build a separate backend for authentication. I know this is something that should be very hard to implement, but now we're removing that bit of complexity of adding secure authentication and giving you this already in place um, using Microsoft Entra external ID. And this is actually very simple and we're going to show you how simple it is. And as you can see here, the overall view of Microsoft Entra external ID gives you um, secure user access, gives you um, seamless user experience as well, and it accelerates your secure app development as well. So let me just briefly show you what you expect to see as the end result in terms of your authentication um, using XRLD. I had already set up um, XRLD on a, one of my applications. So once you have enabled um, Enter XRL ID, this is a sample of how the end would look like. So this is what you call a uh, user flow and Abbas is going to talk a little bit more about this. Uh, so you can be able to change the branding, add logos and what else. So just the same way you add for your login page, but in this case, you're using Microsoft Entra external ID. So I'll hand over to Abbas so I can show us how to actually do this simply within Power Pages. Okay, thanks Jaylin for having me. Um, so the first thing, if you don't know what Power Pages is, it's a low code, no code solution for developers who want to get uh, started with the website in a few minutes. Um, now, when you use external ID to it, uh, probably within 30 minutes, you can sign up users as well as have a site running. So what I have on the screen is uh, a demo website. Uh, this is created by one of the templates called Starter Layout 1. And essentially, I've already created it because it takes some time to deploy. What we're going to do is just come here and configure external ID on top of it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the security tab. Uh, you can't miss it because there's a new written next to it. Select identity providers. So you'll find a list of identity providers uh, showing up. Uh, one of the things you'll see is by default, you have local sign-in and enter ID enabled. You can choose whether to disable them or you know just leave them there. Uh, so in our case, we want to use external ID. So I'll come here, click configure, and you'll notice uh, a wizard uh, pops up on the right-hand side. Uh, basically, it's a step-by-step -step wizard that's going to show you on how to configure all, all the way till you finish. The login provider we leave it is uh, external ID. Provider name is what you will see on the sign-in button. So we can give it something like sign-in with external ID. So we'll, we'll see this later on uh, as to how the button looks like. Click Next. So there's some few steps you need to do on uh, the Microsoft Entry Admin Center. 
I already have mine open, so I'll come here. The first thing you want to do is check that you have an uh, external tenant or a trial tenant. So quickly go to overview, go to manage tenants. You'll see I'm using an external tenant for this example. Uh, up here it's trial tenant, trial tenant. So you can either use an external or trial tenant. The workforce tenant won't work for, for this. Uh, so let's go back. So the first thing we need to do is create an external tenant. Come here and register our application. So let's create a new app. We'll give the app a name. Let's call it external ID Power App. Uh, and the second thing we want to do here is to use the reply URL. So we'll copy this. Because we're on web, we'll select this as web and paste the reply url there and click register while it's registering the app um, come to authentication select access token and id token so that they can be issued by the authorized endpoint and click save and the second thing we want to do here is go to api permissions and grant admin consent and we'll click yes for this so that you don't need to grant admin consent at the back end uh, for any user who signs in so once that is done let's move on to the next steps so the next step is you're going to create a user flow so we'll create a basic one uh, let's go to user flows uh, I think I have a user flow, so give it a different name. External ID or and you want to uh, users to sign in with email and password. I don't want to collect any more attributes from them, but you could collect different attributes and click create. So once this is done, we are going to go to uh, linking the application to the user flow. So let's go to app registrations, all applications, channel ID power app. Uh, so I believe it's not here. We will need to link it from the user flow. So uh, let's select the user flow. So we created power user flow applications and add application so we'll select the application that we created and click select so basically what we have done is we've created a user flow and an application we are going to tell the application that whichever new user comes in you're going to sign in sign him in with an email and password so basically this is what we've done in step three and step four we have created a user flow and added your application to the user flow so we'll click next so this is where we go back to applications and we'll be able to populate these things from there so i'm just going to show you very quickly how to get that come to your app registrations uh, click on all applications and you'll find your application here. So we'll select external ID power app. So the application client ID is right here. We'll click copy, paste it there. Uh, authority URL. So there's an endpoints tab here. When you click on it, it will uh, build for you the endpoints. So the authority URL is the first one. Read from there, paste it there and metadata address is uh, the open id metadata document so we'll copy that and just to confirm you can also see from here which endpoints you need to pick so it also says you need to pick the open id metadata document and we'll paste it there so we'll click next so there's some more additional settings here if you want to do claims mapping registration claims mapping login claims mapping you can do them from here but for this case we'll use all we, we leave them empty you can also configure token lifetime or you know your nonce lifetime uh, 
but let's just click confirm and finally uh, you'll be done with it so once once you're done with the wizard this automatically changes to enabled uh, so very quickly we are going to go to the admin center for those of you who are struggling to find the admin center you can go back to the home page and under the active sites uh, there's a drop down which sorry the three dots when you click on admin center it's going to open this page so basically what we want to do is we want to restart the site so that our changes can be reflected quicker otherwise i think they take up to a maximum of 30 minutes to sort of uh, roll out if you don't do this um, and lastly what you're going to do is see uh, the integration in action so basically what we want to see is our page load up uh, we sign in with the user and after that i think we should be uh, good to say register our first user so it's not yet fully restarted let's give it some time I think our site is now loaded. Um, we'll go to sign in. And off the bat, you'll notice what we had configured in the first step, sign in with the external ID is what's showing up here. So we're going to click that. So since we did not configure any branding, uh, by default, uh, neutral br branding is applied. Uh, so you'll find a plain background uh, along with your tenant name and your email addresses so i'm just going to try and sign up a user so i already had a user in the tenant so i simply just went to sign him up uh, but you could also you know click the create new account button and uh, from there you could sign in sign up a new user uh, so it, it off the bat shows you that I'm already signed in. Um, I just need to fill in a few details. Uh, let's say first name, last name, organization. So I can leave the rest blank. Uh, and let's say English. Once that is done, you've already signed in your user. Uh, you can see I've, I have profile and sign out here. And yeah, and, and, and that's how simple it is to integrate external ID to Power Pages. Wow, that was very, very simple. And I think we're removing a lot of the complexity of authentication and giving you a secure login functionality. And if you go back to the Entra portal, you'll be able to see there's some identity protection features that are available um, for Entra products. So if you go to identity governance protection, you're able to see there's, there's a lot of um, security measures that are put in place uh, if you're using Entra, and which also includes Entra external ID. So if someone is trying to report their way into your, your power pages, you'll be able to note if there are several attempts um, from the Entra portal as well, from the Entra admin center. And that's what I like about Entra because you get that a holistic view of your security posture of your of your um, applications in terms of authentication. And one thing about that we need to um, say as well is uh, one thing with Entra external ID it's actually free for the first fifty thousand users, right? Yes. Yes. So this so is something can... that you should be using. Yeah, you can sign up to 50,000 users, then I think you can find more information on probably our developer hub, uh, and you can find like after that, uh, what's the licensing and the costing. But for the first 50,000 users, I think it's free. Yes, it is. And one thing as well that we need to pay attention when you're deploying um, all these steps, um, is that you need to select uh, external tenant and not workforce tenant. I think, Abbas, maybe you can just show them uh, what you mean because one thing that you're seeing is maybe that you're using the workforce tenant. And in this case, we are actually adding authentication for your external identities. So you need to be able to use an external tenant. Yes, so you can quickly come to overview, uh, manage tenants. 
and if you have an external tenant create a dwelling good uh, like you could sort of uh, just use this but usually you have a default one which is normally workforce and this won't work with the power pages integration um, and if you don't want to use any of them you could simply come to create and from create you'll be able to select an external tenant so external tenant has two types it it's either a trial tenant, but since I've already created a trial tenant, you could create an external tenant as well. Select your subscription and yeah, and and, and use it with external ID and power pages. Yes, and I think that's very 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 simple. Like we are really simplifying um, the logging process um, from the developer perspective. And one thing as well. Um, for the whole of uh, when you're talking about intra ID and intra external ID, we have a developer center. We have the Microsoft Entra Developer Center that has it's a one stop show where you can be able to get everything that in terms of uh, videos, in terms of um, docs, um, all of them within our developer center. So go to aka.ms slash dev slash ms entra to get um, all those good stuff. And we also publish uh, several articles every so often on the dev blogs. So um, dev blogs, uh, so that one is external ID dev blogs. You can find it on aka.ms slash dev blog slash external ID. Also, if you happen to have any feedback or uh, you're finding it, uh, you have issues as well, you can reach out to us directly as well, you can connect with us, or you can also leave a comment here on the YouTube channel and we'll be able to respond to you. Abbas, any last statement before closing? Yeah, so uh, I think the intro uh, developer center is a good place to start because it has like, you know, all the samples you'll require for external ID, if not for power pages. Um, we also have integrations with function apps. Uh, there is a sample out there for OpenAI and external ID. So if you're building apps around OpenAI, um, you could use that. And finally, for uh, the dev blocks, we sort of give you, you know, different scenarios that, uh, and then show you in depth on how to configure external ID, maybe with function apps, external ID with power pages, and so on. So those two are like really good resources to start with, especially if you're new to external ID. Yes, yes. Amazing. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Please give us feedback, uh, play around with the, with the tool, and we're looking forward to um, seeing you play around with the solutions. Thank you very much.